involved in the development of the motorized submersible canoe, or Sleeping Beauty, as it was nicknamed. This device overcame many of the previous problems plaguing the raids, but navigation was still challenging. The pilot needed to keep surfacing and diving to maintain the correct direction. Though a difficult craft to master, it was a remarkable technical achievement, and it soon came to Lyon's attention. Almost a year after Operation Jaywick, Lyon tried to repeat its success in a larger raid codenamed Operation Rimao, melee for Tiger, a beast he had tattooed on his chest. This time, 23 raiders in canoes and Sleeping Beauty canoes were transported by the submarine HMS Porpoise. They planned to capture a native junk, which was to take them close to Singapore Harbor. Unfortunately, that vessel had no engine, and it slowed them considerably. The craft was spotted by a Japanese patrol boat, and the raiders escaped to the nearby island of Laban. They were approached by a Malay police patrol, and an exchange of fire ensued. Operation Rimao was doomed. The overly ambitious plan began to fall apart. Lyon and his team retreated south into the Thousand Islands, but the Japanese were on their tail. One by one, the men of Operation Rimao were tracked down. Most of the raiders were either killed in action or were captured and later executed. Ivan Lyon was killed on October 16, 1944. Some reports suggested that a few raiders managed to enter Singapore Harbor and lay their limpet mines before they were captured, but there was no proof. By late 1944, with the proliferation of British and American fleets, small raiding parties became obsolete. Any Japanese ship venturing to sea was attacked by Allied air power, surface fleets, and submarines. By the end of the war, a total of 1,153 Japanese merchant ships were sunk by carrier-based aircraft and an additional 722 by submarines. Mines laid by submarines and aircraft accounted for another 260. The day of the small-scale raider was over. But the courage and sheer determination of men such as Blondie Hasler and Ivan Lyon and their teams of loyal and daring raiders will never be forgotten. Operations Frankton and Jaywick were two of the epic sabotage missions of World War II.